I'm going to talk here about one of the fundamental things that separates marketing teams that have a strategic approach from those that don't. And this is a mindset piece. This is about the different ways in which digital marketers think. So some think in terms of producing content, others think in terms of producing assets. And I'll explain what that difference looks like. So a traditional digital marketing model is that there's somebody working in the business or hired by the business that's responsible for digital marketing. And they're often paid for their time. For example, if they're a permanent member of staff, then normally they simply get paid for a set number of hours. Most people who approach us as an agency are employees who work on that basis. And when we talk to them, the first thing they usually say is they feel busy. And busy is one of the common words used by in-house marketers, as it is in many jobs. And they also talk about what they've produced or published. And often that will be some web content, perhaps a social campaign or a post that they're pleased with. Blogs is a favorite. If we look at the last 10 years, the in-house marketers we talk to will often speak about writing a blog and then another blog and another blog and so on. So there's this repetition of producing some content and then some more content and some more content and so on. And that is important. Most marketing strategies would involve some regular creation of new content. However, there's a slightly different mindset amongst some marketers who talk much more about creating marketing assets or investing in marketing assets. And it's these people who generally appear more relaxed, more in control, they speak less about feeling busy and often actually speak about a steady flow of leads and clear targets that they regularly hit. So what does it mean to be focused on digital assets? Well, a digital asset is something that you invest in or create once, you can leave there and it, it will keep working on its own and continue delivering results for you over time. So some examples of assets are, uh, well, very obviously a website. If you switch from a website that converts one in 100 visitors into leads to one that converts one in 10 visitors into leads, then you've created an asset that's grown your flow of leads tenfold and doesn't require much ongoing work for that to, to continue. It will do the work for you for as long as you leave it there. Similarly, interactive tools, things like online calculators or scorecards, once you build and optimize them, you can pretty much just leave them there. And while you sleep, your ideal customer comes and engages with them, uses them and self-identifies as a matched prospect for you, and then they make an inquiry. The same is true with rich pieces of content, such as white papers or genuinely valuable how-to guides. You might spend two or three days creating a white paper, but once they're there, they can keep working for you month after month after month. So the formula works like this. Uh, we've got time in and budget in, and then coming out the other end, leads out and revenue out. So let's say 10 blogs might take 30 hours to produce, possibly generate no leads, but perhaps a few leads. But one scorecard or white paper takes half that time and might generate you 20 warm leads every week. And creating a high converting website can be done in six weeks or eight weeks, but it can pay you back with thousands of leads that you wouldn't otherwise have got with no further time investment. So we normally recommend that people focus time and investment on digital assets that will do work for you and generate leads for you without any further time input once they're in place. And we normally recommend people minimize the time they spend on the churn of repetitive content that's time consuming, yields pretty small results, yet is what so many market, marketing teams instinctively do. Once our thinking shifts towards creating assets, we tend to find we're not feeling so busy we're feeling like we're getting the leads we want in a future-proof way. And because we're then less time pressured, we're able to make better marketing decisions and produce even more great digital assets than before. So the whole thing just compounds and compounds over time.